What's going on YouTube? This your boy I am Core from the accolades.com. Hey, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so y'all can get notifications whenever I upload more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at I am Core, A M K H O R D, and I'll follow y'all back as soon as I can. Hey, appreciate the support. We ain't gonna waste too much time. Let's get right into it. Bye. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy, I am Cord from theaccolades.com, back with another tutorial. So for this tutorial, I wanna show y'all how to pretty much add your VSTs or your favorite plugins you like to use in your mixer to like a favorites folder. You see how you click on this plus sign to add a new plugin and it got these little headers, controller, drum, blah, blah, blah. With me, I wanna have my own folder, like whether it say my favorites or the accolades. Same goes for the mixer. Sometimes I want my mixer. Let me move my mixer back over here. View, arrange windows, default, boom. Same goes for the mixer. You got these categories over here. I want my own category. So we're gonna do that. So as you can see, I got Nexus added to my playlist right here. And the way I went about doing that is I went to my stall generators. And I went and found Nexus and drug it over here. So what I want to do, we're gonna open up Nexus, is I want Nexus to appear in the plugin database, which is this folder right here, once you click here. And it's a generator. So you need to know the difference between your generators and your effects. So Nexus and VSTs are generators. So you see, these are the only categories I have. I don't want to add it to some random category. So what I can do, I can right click on here, click on open. We'll get this window to pop open. Let me move this up. And this is going to take me to the inside the FL. Let me close this. Oh, shoot. Uh, hold up. Boom. So this is going to take me to the folder inside of the FL beta which contains, uh, well, I can go to resources, FL, and the data and all that. Or if you've seen my previous video, I showed you how to add it to the sidebar. So if you haven't, please check that out. Uh, so you go go to data. We're gonna go to patches and plug in database. And as you can see, let me, damn, why this thing keep closing back out? As you can see, we got effects, generators, and install. Same as over here, effects, generators, and install. So I want it to appear in this generators folder, which is here. So I could go here and I can, boom, create a new folder, name it whatever I want to name it. So say if I did name it the accolades, let's say for instance, I named it visual. I select this visual folder, open up the Nexus VST, hit this drop down arrow, and save or add to plugin database flag as favorite. So once I do that, let's do it. It say RF, RFX Nexus will be added to this subcategory, visual. So this is the subcategory over here. So when I add it, I don't want to add it from here though. I'll do it anyway. So once I add it, it'll be here. So there's Nexus. So now when I go here, I hit the plus sign and I go on the visual, there's Nexus right there. So the same goes as far as your mixer as well. When you do the mixer, whatever effect or plug in, say it's like the waves, a lot of people got waves. So in order to do the waves, you'll do the same thing. You'll find the waves uh, effect. It should be an effect. Scroll all the way down. And they go to wave shell. You just drag that thing right here. I right, make sure this thing open to. Okay, we really go take that long. Come on now. And you see, let's close this. You have this right here. This is the wave shell plugin. For those of y'all that got waves, y'all know how this opens up. It's gonna go to none, the little drop down one uh, arrow, and you see all your waves plugins. 
So I wish they had it to where you can access individual plugins. But the only way you can really add this to over here is gonna add the wave shell. When you go to uh, replace a new plugin, it's gonna add the wave shell to whatever subcategory folder you added to instead of the individual plugins. So hopefully, you know, they get up to date with that. So what I do wanna show y'all before we finish this video is that I updated to the beta version. And so all my plugins and generators, my favorites folder, I don't wanna go through and do all that all over again. So as you can see, generators and fits, I, I had a the accolades folder, subcategory folder in each one of these on the alpha side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this. Save changes, no, we ain't gonna save it. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna open up a new finder window. I'm gonna open up two different ones. So first I'm gonna make sure I select this. This is my FL alpha folder. Make a new finder window. Boom, and this is the beta folder. So I'm gonna navigate inside my beta folder to data, patches, plugin database, effects. And you see I have nothing there, but if I go to my alpha version, data, patches, plugin database, effects, there's my folder for the accolades. So, in theory, what should work, I should be able to hold option and drag a copy of this and drop it here. And this is my first time trying it with y'all on here. So go to generator. I don't have a folder here on the beta. Go to generator. There's my folder. Hold option, drag it, drop it here. Now, when I open up the beta again, you know, to make things easier for me, I'm gonna drag and drop this right here. I'm gonna open up the beta. So I should have my folders in there when I open, hopefully. Okay, can I with more monitor attack? I don't know why this even comes up because I got dual monitors right now and it's working. Okay, so as you see, there are my folders. Now what I want to see is if I hit the plus sign, I go to the accolades, let's hit Nexus. Let's see if Nexus opens. Boom, there we go. So, we'll delete this one right here. Let's open up our mixer again. The accolades. Let's see. Let's see if my slate digital stuff open. All right, it's taking a little minute. I ain't about to scam me. Boom. So everything is working the way it should be. So hopefully this helps some of you out. If you have any other questions or any other tutorials y'all would like to see, please feel free to hit me up and let me know and I'll get back with y'all as soon as I can. Till the next one. Peace out. Bow.